here. First of all, I want to wish you my very best Merry Christmas to you all. It was awesome this year and uh, you follow my tutorials and I and I'm very happy that uh, you comment a lot on my videos and uh, drop a lot of likes. By the way, now, today very very brand new video but uh, slightly different because today we are not going to use DDT for all but I'm going to show you how to uh, activate or how to enable the developer mode, so the debug mode of the R-Link 2 system. For, for the, by doing this we have to uh, prepare an USB key and uh, in a while I'm going to show you the procedure on, on how to do it and uh, please pay attention because uh, the developer mode uh, it's a very uh, interesting mode but the risk to harm the uh, hard link 2 system is very high so please pay attention and follow my follow my steps okay guys now I'm going to show you how to prepare the USB key to insert uh, in the car and uh, let's start with the video well guys now we are in Windows and we are ready to create the USB to uh, the USB disk to uh, enable the debug mode in the R link 2 so now uh, we are assuming that you already have an USB uh, key which is formatted in FAT FAT32 method, not NTSC, not uh, uh, MAC which is APFS or HFS. It, mu it must be a FAT uh, FAT32. Okay. Insert the USB the USB key. Um, for uh, for make things simple, I don't have a USB key, but we are assuming that I'm creating a new folder okay called usb and this uh, will be my usb key so we have to open the usb the usb key and then in, inside we have to create we have to create a new folder called uh, uh, debug all caps d e b u g okay and in this folder inside this folder we have to create um, a file that allows the system to uh, open the debug mode in the Erling 2. So the the file must have the extension .lge, which is a LG enabler, and it's impossible for you in Windows to create it. So we have to uh, do a little trick to create the this extension file. First thing to do is to create a new uh, text file text file and uh, uh, it must be empty so we have to just uh, rename it in uh, dbg enable sorry so rename it in dbg enable please pay attention that the d and the e must be on caps and now if we click OK. The file now is a text file and we are not able to uh, change the extension Okay, by default. If you want to change the extension by default you have to activate uh, the extension, the file extension and uh, if you don't have it it's here. V visualization and now show hide here, show hide, click and now extension, file name extension. By clicking it now you will see that we have the extension which is txt. Now we simply just uh, rename the file, and now we can just and now we can rename also the extension, which it must be lge. Okay. Now it says that the file can be use useless, and now we have to say yes. So we have to basically created. Uh, I, re I repeat, this is the USB key. I don't have an USB key because mine is already in the car. So open by click here and here you will have the USB so this USB inside the USB key the empty USB key which must be formatted in FAT32 FAT32 not NTFS not uh, XFAT and not uh, a HFS Mac system I'm sorry but only FAT32 system works we have to uh, create a folder called debug all caps Inside this folder, we have to make a text file, new text file, called dbg, dbg enable.lge. D and E must be on caps. The file extension uh, should be txt because it's a text file at first. But now, by activating the 
uh, file extension, we can change the extension to, to LGE. So LGE, click OK. Now we have the USB key with, with the debug folder with inside the file dbg enable.lge. And now we are ready to start the procedure by going in the car. Once we are in the car and we have uh, prepared the USB 2 the USB 2 key, the first thing we have to do is to go into the menu in which we will uh, activate the debug mode. That is menu. Then we have to go here multimedia. After multimedia, we have to go in uh, settings and uh, picture settings. Okay. Once we are here and we see this uh, uh, square okay it's a square now once we are here we are ready to insert the um, the USB the USB key into the um, into the USB 2 port no matter which one of two we are using it's uh, it's the same they are both uh, they are both good so I, I'm using the the right one just because it's uh, easier for me okay insert once we've inserted the USB key, we have to wait for uh, 40 or 50 seconds. Okay, 50 seconds are gone. Now we are ready. Now we have to do, we have to use uh, an USB. I suggest you to use a touch uh, a touch pen, which will be make things easier to do instead than using your fingers. Now we have to uh, use this square by. We have to do one click on the upper left and 12 click on the lower right okay by using the uh, touch pen so one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now as you can see now as you can see we are on the developer side so the debug mode of the r link 2 system uh, first and uh, most important thing to do is to make more darker so you can see all all the things uh, very important be avoid of this stuff which is display mode don't touch it and also virgin mode don't touch it at all because if you touch it you will break uh, Okay, virgin mode. If you touch it, you will break your Arling 2 system. Okay. Now, these are all the infos on the system of the system. Okay, system version. Okay, these are all the information on the system, and this is the list of all the applications that are installed in the Arling 2. So you can scroll them. You can see all of them. So basically, when you open an uh, when you when you open a, a, an app, just uh, it just opens the the app you are uh, you are used to uh, use in the in the car, like uh, uh, multisense, like uh, air conditioning and uh, stuff like that. So there are simply the application you are uh, you are you use uh, when you use the car. But there are two. Uh, important uh, part of this uh, of this um, developer side which are the uh, engineer mode this one the engineer mode and the uh, where is it uh, Diag RW I will show you in a while this one which is the most important for me now we're going to see the engineer mode which is uh, which is I think very useful because you have all the system info on this side I don't know why but the camera is not taking the focus okay and on the left side on the right side sorry you have all the function tests so you can test the GPS okay you can see if your GPS signal is good or not how many how many satellites your car is receiving at the moment so maybe if you have some trouble with uh, set signal you will you you can see you can see here if your set signal is okay and also you can you can check the AM FM so the radio you, you can check okay <laughs> the radio is working actually you can check the radio signal and also you can choose uh, uh, different frequencies and you can see uh, the um, the signal if it's good or not uh, from the AM from the FM and also if you have the also if you have the digital radio installed you can see it 
and also we can see the DAB, so the digital audio broadcasting, uh, the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi, the rear view camera, if you have the rear view camera installed, but I don't have it, so I'm not going to, to see nothing. You can also adjust the rear view camera uh, visual and you can do the LCD test so it will make a lot of colors and a lot of stuff on the LCD and also the acoustic noise cancelling my, my car is the Bose version so I don't have the acoustic noise cancelling version and also the gyroscope and accelerometer test and this uh, is the engineer mode which is more uh, more like a, a test mode on the of the system and now we are going to see the best one, which is, I guess, the Diag RW, which is the uh, funniest one, because in this uh, you have a lot of parameters to read and to change. It's a sort of DDT for all interface, but uh, without the, UAB, the OBD2 uh, port. Now, in Max, uh, it's more like the multi-sense, so you, there are a lot of parameters of the multi-sense, like the ambient lightning, the massage seating, the heating, and something like that. And you can also change the parameters, you can change whatever you want, just press save after that. But guys, please pay attention, because uh, the, modify you are, the modify you are doing are permanent, and as I said before, you can break your <laughs> our link to system, so please pay attention. Now the ADAS, which is the uh, autonomous driving um, autonomous driving aid system, which are the uh, auto braking, the ABS, and also like that. Uh, the ultrasonic park assist you can activate the ultrasonic park assist you can change the ultrasonic park assist uh, sound and also like and stuff like that uh, if you have the adaptive cruise control it says it if you have the visual park assist so the front and rear park uh, parking sensor and uh, the DW is the distant warning so if you have the radar that uh, uh, stops the car automatically when uh, there is a front collision warning okay and uh, this is the ADAS and there are a lot of the you can also in this uh, you can also change maybe if you are in a country that uh, if, if you bought a car in another country and the radio is not working you can you can change the 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 country of uh, your of your radio so maybe you can listen once again the radio and uh, there are a lot of things like if you have the nav if you don't have the navigation active you can active the navigation by simply by simply change this one so navi function it's disabled you can enable it yeah it's very it's very there are a lot of things actually in this <laughs> diagram w and also uh, connectivity in connectivity there are a lot of things but it's more like um uh, a test uh, also this uh, so there are a lot of parameters which I don't really know and uh, map I don't know what is this and you can also change the uh, the temperature by in by from Celsius to Fahrenheit to change the time format you can change the, the, the distance which you can change in kilometers and miles and uh, and nothing because there are also two you can change the tire pressure from bar to PSI and uh, in car you can change nothing because uh, nothing ECU yeah these are uh, I don't know I guess you won't change <laughs> these values because I really don't know what what they are actually so yeah Please guys pay, pay attention because uh, the risk of damage the R Link 2 system is very high. So I, I repeat, this is just for uh, educational purpose. So please really pay attention. You can watch uh, uh, you can watch these uh, these apps, which are basically if you click it, they basically open the app you have on the car. And uh, as I said before. And uh, this uh, was a very different video because we haven't used the um, the OBD2 interface. We didn't use the the DDT for all, but uh, also on only with an USB key you can 
as, uh, you can you can have access to the developer side of the Arlink 2 system, which uh, is a great hack and uh, it's very nerdy uh, as I am actually. <laughs> and uh, okay, guys, uh, this uh, this is all for today. I hope you like the video as uh, as usual. And uh, thank you very much for all the support you're giving me. And sorry for my bad English, but today I'm really tired and uh, I'm preparing my Christmas with my family. And uh, I'm really tired because there are a lot of things to do. By the way, if you like the video, please uh, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and subscribe for other tutorial and other video related to cars, to Renault, and uh, to stuff like that. I wish you a Merry Christmas once again, guys, and see you next time. Bye!